In the lymphoma CLL field at ASH this year, I'd say that this is one of those years where we've got further follow-up on lots of the studies that have pub published before, where um, we're seeing what happened to the patients with longer follow-up, and we're seeing lots of emerging new agents in very early clinical development, but not a huge amount that's ready for prime time to change the field completely. So what do I mean by that? So we're, we're seeing further follow-up of um, studies with venetoclax and CLL where we saw the published papers often presented with very short follow-up. Um, and then each year at ASH, we're seeing what's happened to that cohort of patients as we follow them out. That's hugely important in that drug where patients stop therapy for us to know what happens to these patients when they've stopped. What we're also seeing in the CLL field is more and more trials reporting on the use of combinations. And what's very clear in all of the studies that we're seeing presented in this way, that people are looking at fixed durations of therapy to stop the drugs. It's important for two reasons. It decreases the long-term cost. But what is clear is we're using our most effective agents together in driving these really deep responses and looking at minimal residual disease and how important that is to be able to have patients eradicated. In all of these studies, as we had with venetoclax alone, you're looking at what happens to patients after they come off drug. And that's what we're beginning to see from those studies also. So the concept that you're able to drive CLL patients into deep remissions with new agents is, is there. The fact that in many of the settings we're seeing that these new agents are replacing chemoimmunotherapy, which is great news for our patients, uh, and the fact that we're seeing very safe administration of these agents together is good news. We're also seeing the emergence of, of new agents, usually second in class for things so a calibrutinib, xanabrutinib studies presented. And we're also seeing newer agents that look at things like non-covalent binding, so ways in which you might be able to overcome the resistance. So why are these things important? Well, it's important to have people's choice so that if they don't tolerate a drug, you're able to change to another drug. And if they do develop resistance, we've got drugs available to be able to overcome that. In the lymphoma space, um, again, we're not seeing anything groundbreaking in terms of ready for prime time for patients. In other words, there's, there's nothing new here that says we're, not going, we're going to change the frontline treatment for our patients with diffuse uh, large B cell or indolent lymphomas. What we are seeing, however, is a lot of new agents, often targeting very specific subgroups of patients. So we're seeing more and more studies not looking at all patients, but just looking at subgroups. A lot of excitement still about the, the CAR T cell field. What we're seeing at this ASH is, again, the follow-up studies on the diffuse large B cell lymphoma, showing that those plateaus look very stable and that we're really talking about curative intent in diffuse large B cell lymphoma. But here we're also seeing studies in follicular lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, CLL, widening the, the scope of CAR T cells into the other patients with the lymphomas. We've always known uh, from the studies that have been done before that these were going to be effective in this setting, but of course we didn't have a license. What all of us are waiting for is for these agents to be available to treat patients who are running into problems with other histologies other than diffuse large B cell lymphoma. We haven't yet seen the data on the randomized trials looking at CAR T's versus autologous transplants. But what is certainly the, the case is that we're seeing real world experience suggesting that CAR T's are replacing allogeneic transplants for diffuse large B cell lymphoma and look to be a very effective way to treat our patients.